Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because tarot is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm gonna show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video right leo so this is going to be your uh, monthly tarot reading for the month of April and uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our uh, videos and as well live streams but let me finish the shuffle and uh, we are to see what kind of experience uh, you are going to have through the month of April that is so uh the very first card for you uh leo that is going to be the four of, uh the four of swords here uh followed by the second one for you that will be the ten of uh swords moving next uh, that will be the ten of pentacles and the final card leo that will be the three of swords those cards that we do have uh let me just spread them a little bit more accustomed to the uh, to the layout so 
Uh, with uh, with those cards, uh, we can say that this is going to be uh, this is going to be a peaceful month, as peaceful as you can make it. All right, and I'm gonna hopefully with uh, this tarot reading, I'm gonna lead you through it in a way that you are going to uh, make a lot of benefit and also profit rather than kind of like scraping down your nerves and as well um, in generally spend it in a way that uh, you are going to feel very pressured and as well uh, uh, with your back against the wall in generally because that is also a option as we can see here with the ten of swords the additional cards uh, we have the two of cups okay so two of cups a uh, four of swords uh, to the ten of swords that is going to be the five of cups to the knight to the ten of pentacles uh, we do have uh, the emperor and the final one that is going to be not the queen of pentacles but the eight of cups and it's it just it plays out exactly how i said because all of the dignities here they are neutrals so that means that you have a choice how to play out this month but uh, let's talk about the topic here first okay which is going to be the general theme of the month and that is in between these two cards the four of swords and the two of cups so as a general topic leo this month could be uh, a very peaceful okay very peaceful and that peace primarily is gonna come through uh first uh, interactions with others it is just the interactions with others should you have not exactly expectations but should you have your boundaries with people set and solid then you can expect having no disappointments from these people whatsoever and I, because they are neutral it doesn't mean that love cannot settle in but it just is going to settle in in a, such a way that neither of the extreme whether rapidly progressing nor very slowly moving is going to be uh, on the display here and therefore uh, simultaneously you are going to have a lot of time on your hands uh, to uh, mitigate this situation the way you want and also you are going to have just enough time to spend with a person that you may fall in love with or that you are in love with right now <clears throat> that is going to be quite or, or right enough so this love or rather like this development it's get, it gets maintained but for me the hugest topic of uh, of this month that you do have at hand here is a problem solving definitely with these two cards you can solve a lot of relationship problems and should you have any problems right now in your marriage in your current relationship with your suitor with your boss with your colleagues whatever it is okay these problems all of them can be solved how but you not setting ultimatums now this is the ultimatum combo you set an ultimatum with really high expectations though ex no matter if the ultimatum is set your expectations could be can be never met so no matter what the other person does uh, even if you do have even if they do have the most benign and positive intentions you will always gonna end up disappointed always it's just a mindset it, it, it's nothing to do with you it's nothing to do with the other person it's just a mindset you do have one version of events but these events cannot happen okay uh, it's just how the month is set up they even these events cannot happen and you end up disappointed no matter what so no expectations no ultimatums <clears throat> and even if the situation heats up to a such a point that it feels like you either have to take it or leave it uh, these two cards here are saying that there will be always an option for you to leave a back door even if you have to leave it for now you can always leave a back door where you can get to it on a later stage of the month or on a later stage of your life which is by the way something that you should seek and aim to do uh, with uh, uh, with any situation in this month uh, whether it is a, uh, a business situation or whether it is a, a love situation but primarily things are going to be in relationships so if it is a, a business situation is going to be in between you and your business partner in between you and your colleagues okay but primarily in the relationship so the month has more or less a, a romantic or relationship incentive than anything else <clears throat> 
here and, and one of the things that these two card these two positions are telling us throughout the month is that this is a month where you can salvage okay you don't have to uh, nothing that you hold on to has to end okay i'm gonna sneeze oh i do apologize for that so uh, nothing has to end you don't have to break up your relationship if you don't want to you don't have to quit your job or you can you can save yourself from being fired you know you can borrow time to the current relationship if you see that your partner is trying to leave you for whatever reason and that comes from the four of swords and this is because each party can can uh, can meet reason okay you can um you can reason up with your boss with your colleagues with the person you are living with and so on and so forth say you are going through divorce same thing here you can meet reason in the other person so you you should you don't have to spend so much money on lawyers uh courts and so on and so forth but probably you can reach some kind of a uh, settlement <clears throat> outside of court that is going to benefit a both of you but whatever it is just don't take a standpoint uh take it or leave it here or a ultimative a standpoint as the ten of swords shows because uh, first of all there is no going back from it once you set it and it's it's a ticking bomb uh, and it's just it's something that will not gonna allow you to solve all of your problems it's just maybe portion of them but not all of them uh so <clears throat> what uh, truly though is gonna allow you to cash in on the peacefulness that you can establish here on the situation are these two cards and what they really speak of it is that <clears throat> you know you have to throughout the month you should seek comfort any situation you can position yourself in a comfort zone and that is something you should do and obviously taking ultimate standpoint it is completely uh, as a, a uh, as an antipode it, it, it's counteract to the comfort zone nobody likes to be ultimative and in the same time that is a comfort zone this is uh how can i put it into words uh, this is the the comfort zone of the one that always seeks conflicts and i don't believe that you guys are like that none of us seeks conflicts so comfort zone setting on to, into your comfort zone while simultaneously you do seek independence into uh into the interaction what that means it is that if you are falling in love uh, then the person that you are falling in love with should not aim to constrain you in certain way and that is how you're gonna know uh, actually that person is the right person for you at least according to these cards and because we do have these cards here it means that such a guy or a woman is going to be around they are going to be just behind a corner if you don't have anybody around you right now it is just things can work out in between you two very well and uh <clears throat> With these two cards additionally they do speak the things are going to be easy on you uh, career wise and relationship wise as well it is just none of the situations that you're going to face is going to be drastic is going to be uh, how can i put it into words a uh, extreme so to speak and therefore you can you will have a lot of uh, say options available uh, how to deal with it to the best of your abilities and as well to the best of your uh, to the best of your comfort so your business is going to be easy on you your love life is going to be easy on you as well uh, and again if you do not see conflicts conflicts are not going to find you out there throughout the months of um throughout the month of april and, and finally though uh, these uh, these two cards are giving you the luxury to decide how much personal time you want you may have all of the month personal which is not advisable here according to these cards but also you can decide how much time you want to have with your colleagues with your friends as well so pretty much the uh, the circumstances will align with you whenever you do have the mood for it you can go out you know have a beverage with uh, with friends you love or with colleagues you love and so on and so forth and finally these three these two cards here are giving an incentive that you may reconcile with somebody you didn't have in touch for a very very long time like uh, a friend from your childhood you know or a family member that you lost touch with and so on and so forth but the month here for you uh leo ends with uh, these two cards okay that will be the result of all this 
and uh, the ending of the month it's it's a very broad ending uh, here first of all uh, those two cards speak that no matter what happens future has a potential always to hold something better and that will be something that will allow you to look past the ultimatum standpoint that you may have the affinity to take another thing of these cards it is the forgiveness that either you are going to be forgiven about something or you will find the strength to forgive into somebody another thing which is beautiful about these cards it is the emotional resilience which means that uh, at the end of the month no matter how you played your cards you will be uh, you will be in no regret whatsoever with your your actions it is just one actions that are going to be better than the other okay but even if you do take the more inefficient way you will have no regret about it by the look of these cards and lastly <clears throat> those cards will allow you to heal from a negative experiences they didn't have to happen into the month of april it's just by the by the month of april you will be completely completely healed from failures from the past you are not going to be afraid of them anymore you're not going to think constantly about them you know you're not going to cry as well because i know that there are people who when they kind of like evoke the memory of something uh, that they have not accomplished for example or, or they uh, were not able to manifest they're crying about it which there is nothing bad uh, there is nothing negative and bad about it but once you evoke that memory anymore you're not going to cry about it anymore because you you just accepted it that that is how you're going to find yourself by the end of the day but the huge thing about this it is about the future statement that i said that the future always holds a better perspective than the past and the present and that that it is how you're gonna look at all this and that is going to be also a one reason for you to look past the ultimate standpoint that you may have here with the ten of swords knowing that if now you set course okay and you leave no back door no option for anything to alter then pretty much the future is set and it possibly it cannot hold anything better than what it is right now and what it is right now is ultimatum and ultimatums are not good thing whatsoever so with that said leo that was your uh monthly tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye